The Galapagos is a wildlife heaven 600 miles off the west coast of South America. Located on the equator, this natural paradise is marked by two seasons, the wet and the dry season, which determine wildlife behavior and travel experience. The dry season, between the months of July and November, is the perfect time to enjoy the wonderful sights of Galapagos. Blue skies and warmer temperatures will turn hiking and dinghy rides into an unforgettable experience. These are the highlights and features from October to December in the Galapagos Islands. Weather in October is a mixture of sun, a bit of rain, and some misty mornings, especially on the western islands. Average temperatures are around 73 degrees Fahrenheit on land and 72 degrees Fahrenheit underwater. Probably the most attracting activity to, during this month is the opportunity to swim with young sea lions, who are very playful while underwater. Blue-footed boobies will start raising their cheeks in places such as Española Island and Punta Vicente Roca at Isabela Island. During this month, sea water will be calm and the temperature will start to increase slowly to an average of 74 degrees Fahrenheit and of 72 degrees Fahrenheit on land. A humble current will bring a surge of cool water, rich in nutrients and plankton for the delight of birds and fishes that inhabit the islands. November is also a good opportunity to see whale sharks in the far northwest of the islands. During this month, you can also find abundant amounts of boobies cheeks, especially on the islands of Floriana and Española. December, the last month of the dry season, is considered the high season for tourism thanks to the brighter skies and warmer sea temperatures that will be on an average of 75 degrees on land and 73 degrees Fahrenheit underwater. This is the month when the giant Galapagos tortoise eggs begins to hatch. Seeing how much a gigantic animal grows from such a tiny size brings an unbelievable impression of the way nature works. It is also a fantastic month for bird watching, especially when it comes to albatrosses, as their first babies start to fledge, which can be a long process for this unique Galapagos bird. Any month, any day, is a special experience in the Galapagos Islands, a place to feel a part of nature, while enjoying a once-in-a-lifetime adventure.